let's take a peek at our very first cut. Oh, wow. That, <laughs> that's so unique. We got a botryoidal geode pocket here, water level bands, and what I believe is phenomenal. Looks like Saganite sprays or very thin stick agate variation. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. How unique, how beautiful is that? That's a great first cut, such a great first cut. So that is our very first cut. We have a bin of others to cut and this one is gonna be our last cut. These are agates from Turkey. And I'm very excited to see what is hiding on the inside of this one, as well as some of these other ones. This one, I'm gonna make a few cuts in because it's got bands right here, but it looks kind of clear. So I think we should just make some little slabs out of it. So let's do that next. So I just did something I've never done and took like a huge gamble <laughs> on making slabs. And I promise you, I have not seen on the inside of any of these. As I was cutting, I would snap them together for quickly. And my hope is that these bands on the end here, they run deep and those bands run deep. And I think that was it. So we'll just kind of reveal slab by slab and see how they play out. So it'd be kind of fun. So let's see the first one. Oh, it does have some bands right down here, but right over here is really, really pretty. Not at all disappointed. Oop, okay. <laughs> there it goes. All right, so that one, how did that go? Where did that go? Is it like that? No, that wasn't that one. That one's really pretty, right? It was like that. All right, let's check out this one. We already kind of saw it. Yeah, interesting. Not at all disappointed. I think it was gonna be light regardless, but it looks like we're coming into some more depth down in here. It's getting a little thicker as we go. It is kind of cool seeing the transition of the agate through the slabbing process. Let's check out the next one. Ooh, a little thicker up here. That's pretty. Very neat. And this guy, I bet it's just gonna be the same all the way through. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool. Got some more details over here in the end. Really neat. Different, I think, I thought this one was for sure gonna be kind of a lighter one and it definitely was lighter in the band department, but it was really fun getting to see that like that. It's kind of different. Our next one, I am really hoping it's hiding a lot more on the inside, but this window right here, this is going to be the Turkish stick agate, and I'm really hoping that it is popping on the inside. We'll get a nice clean face. We'll see. I'm going to give it a big face right here and cut it right through that. So that'll be fun. So as you know, the cutting process takes a little bit of time. <laughs> and as we were cutting this one, I was looking at it and I was like, oh man, some of these details are really starting to pop and it got some really good colors in there. So I'm hopeful. I think I think we got, got a good chance for a beautiful stick agate. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is the best stick agate I have ever cut open. Look at that, right in through here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's got such beautiful depth in there. Oh boy. 
I have another stick agate. Oh gosh, sorry. Look at that right in there and then that depth in the center. That's so pretty. Oh, let me zoom in on this right here. Oh my gosh, look at that. So sticky. <laughs> it's not, but it's so cool. I have another stick agate uh, from Turkey that is actually like what I would say is a premium one that looks really, really good. I'm gonna make a, a video completely devoted to that one. This looks amazing though. I really, really like that. That is so sweet. That's awesome. So even though that second one that we slabbed was a little light, it was still really pretty. Oh, I don't wanna make it sound like I wasn't happy with it. It was just a little light, but we got two more to cut. This one, you can see that right there. I think is gonna be really interesting. This might be one that I cut a couple times because it does look like there's a lot of quartz on this side and it runs in through here and I don't want quartz, I want this stuff right here. So <laughs> I'm gonna look that over a little bit too. And then this guy, I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna cut it yet, but I wanted to say I got all of these amazing Turkish agates from SRL Gemstones and you can find their stores linked in the description box below and get yourself some awesome. Turkish agates. So let me uh, look this one over and see where I am going to cut it. <laughs> and then we'll cut it. You know what's funny is I have been cutting rocks. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I've been cutting rocks like religiously for years and years and yet I still get so nervous sometimes. Like this one, I get, I got so nervous with it. Like I was cutting and I, in here, like right up and through here, it was very hard and then it was like really fast and then I got hard again. So I'm thinking that like in this area, on this side, oh, you can see that there too. There totally is. I bet there's a geode pocket or a lot of quartz. Can't quite tell, but let's see. Let's see how it plays out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got like two little geode pockets right here and here. It's so little, but look at the beautiful details in there all the way through down in here oh my gosh that is crazy and the beautiful oranges up in there as well that is so pretty oh my gosh i wish we could have hit more of this orange but like i don't know you could i mean we could have cut it that way could have could have cut it that way but then i just like we would have got quartz too because there's quartz on the bottom either way it's hard you can't you can't know really you can hope stuff like this I mean sometimes you know it's gonna be good but th with this stuff you just kind of got to guess but that's that's pretty I'm not at all disappointed the coloring in there is really really pretty <laughs> I love how that's just poking out like there it's got like a smithers nose <laughs> oh interesting not bad not a bad piece I don't know if I would cut that one again. That's probably going to leave that one. That one's pretty sweet. Just so different, you know what I mean? But we got our final cut. This guy right here. Same thing. I got to kind of look it over. Oh, I was looking at it earlier. There's a fracture right here. So I don't want to cut into that. I'm assuming it's probably running deep anyway. So I think when I was looking at it earlier, I was like, should try to avoid that at all cost. I'll have to inspect it one more time and then we'll make a cut and I'll kind of fill you in after I do it. <laughs> Man, so we had this fracture right here and I was kind of inspecting. It seemed like it came over quite a bit and I just 
was like there's bands over here hopefully it shoots through there's some that run through this so hopefully we get some along this way and right there is where i made the cut so i'm just hoping that we avoid that fracture but when i was cutting it oh gosh when i was cutting it i felt some soft spots where it just whizzed through really fast and i'm like definitely quartz in there there were some hard spots too so i'm hopeful that there are a lot of bands in there i'm hoping it's just a beautiful combination of both so let's Let's open it up and find out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a lot of quartz, but like, look at this. It's like a frozen lake and islands down here. That is so pretty. This red appears from my blade. Oh, that is really pretty. Hoping for more bands. We do have some down in here, which is super, super pretty. Let me zoom in. Look at those. Not bad. Whoa. Too far. Whoa, everywhere. Not too bad. I love this down here though. There, there's a big fracture right there. But pretty much besides that, I don't see many others. Like, I mean, I guess there's a couple down here, but that's really cool. Oh, look, check this out. That's neat. That's not too bad. That's pretty cool. It does have some sweet bands. The outside was probably cooler. <laughs> In my opinion, I'm a sucker for raw agates. I really do love raw agates more. But sometimes you gotta cut them, you know? This is so sweet. I love this down in here, though. I think that's really, really pretty. Happy we saved this one for last. I think my favorite one has to be... Gosh, it's like... I love the stick agate. It's really, really pretty because it's so unique. This one was really cool because of the different colors and stuff in there. And I th is this, I think you would maybe call this like more of like a lace like pattern with the bands. I love that. And this sweet water level Saganite spray thing, just a beast. So cool with the awesome Betroidal pocket up there. And uh, yeah, you have to let me know what you think. This is really fun. I cut all these on my 10 inch high tech diamond saw with their thin center blade that's also going to be linked in the description box below and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this fun little cutting video these pretty unique turkish agates it was a lot of fun thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me we'll see you next time